I know everybody's having a hard time with the CGs. I don't understand why it's so hard to figure out how to mark and uh, adjust your CG, but we're going to go ahead and do the no-brainer way. Um, basically, if you have your camera box cut out in the front and you're having a hard time getting a measurement off the front, I mean, this is very simple. Even with your motor mounted in, you can lay your wing on a flat bench. You match the back part of the airplane here, right where the motor firewall is. You can put a straight edge right there. You take another measuring tool and measure exactly three and a half inches. Three and a half inches here. So you measure three and a half inches from the back of the motor firewall, which is here over onto the plane. And the easy way to do that is put a straight edge and then grab yourself another square or another straight edge and measure over and mark that mark. And I've done that. And you can see. So now you got a mark. And you got a mark and, the, um, and if you look at the shininess of this plane here you can see I make the mark over to each hump. Because what I do is where it hits the humps that's where I put these two fingers. I'll go ahead and take these two fingers, my middle finger and my thumb here, and I will put them on the bottom and I will balance it from that point. Another way to mark your CG, um, it's just like it's just like the no-brainer. Before you build it, why don't you mark it? Either mark it by scribing a mark in the bottom of the plane or whatnot. What I'll do is I'll come and I'll get a flat razor, I mean not for that razor, uh, a flat ruler, and I'll go ahead and put the plane down on a surface and I will go ahead and once it's on the flat surface then I'll come over here and I'll make a mark and then I'll lay it down after I make a small mark and then I'll make a mark all the way across between the shoulders here. It's pretty simple. Once that's done now you have your CG. You can do it before you build, you can do it after you build, either way. You always have a mark on the rear end here that you can always go to um, and even if you want to, you know, I know your sparse lot gets distorted sometimes, but if you're measuring it specifically from the very front end of the sparse lot, it's exactly two and a half inches. So if you're measuring it from the sparse lot, it's two and a half inches on that mark. Um, I, you know, one or two millimeters either way isn't going to be, you know, it isn't going to be something that's going to kill you. Um, the trick is, is you want to have it really close to that mark. You want to get it out. You want to fly it. And, uh, after you get your rates down and you see that it is way too sensitive, um, you know, you can go ahead and add a little more nose weight. But heck, I find um, 9 and 3 eighths is perfectly nose heavy. Um, it's enough to create the reflex uh, for what you need. Um, and now what I'll do is I'm going to show you the hand way on how to balance this thing. So I have another plane here that's already been balanced. I, I got some weight in it. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to do this here. Let me get this. Okay, this plane is already marked on the bottom, okay? I got the marks on the bottom. So what I will do is I find those two marks and I put a thumb, see? I got a thumb and a finger on each one of those parts of the shoulders that rise on the bottom of it. So what I do is now I have my front end eye level here, okay? It's eye level, right where the camera is. I got my right hand underneath the plane, right on those marks, and my, th my thumb and my finger are centered on those marks. And look, oh no, it's balancing. And if it balances to where it's level or it dips slightly forward, you're perfect. That's all you need to do. You don't need to set it on a straight edge. You don't need to set it on a ruler. You don't need to set it on pins. You don't need to go crazy. Just stick your fingers to where your fingers are centered on each end of that mark, right as right as it hits the humps on the bottom, and you're golden. Okay? Look at that. Look. Okay, hold on. Balancing. And if it goes slightly forward, it's not going to hurt you. That's it. It's, it's not hard. It's really simple. So, that's all you really need to do. You know, you know <laughs> I'm dumbfounded. Okay? Here you go. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Post this video up, and we'll let you guys get going on this. That's, that's the hardest that it needs to be.